And good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Yuku TV Overtime. I'm Jermaine Trotter. And my name's Corinne Bush. We are so excited to be bringing you guys up to date on Utica Athletics. The Empire 8 Men's Basketball Championship was held right here in Utica at Mika Court this weekend. The Pioneers opened up the semifinals facing off against Alfred University. Utica, led by their loaded senior class, was looking to repeat as conference champs. The Pioneers had, a, had to battle through adversity when all-conference guard Kobe Lufkin went down with an injury. His shot making had been key to their success early in the game and all season long. Alfred was able to keep in close for the entire first half. The second half is when Utica took control of the game. Defensive stops and shot making helped the Pioneers win the game and move on to their straight Empire 8 championship game. Darius Hopkins and Thomas Moriel led the way with 20 and 17 points, respectively. The men's basketball team faced off against Nazareth College this past Saturday for the Covenant Empire 8 title. This game had been highly anticipated by most as the men looked to repeat as conference champions. After the loss of Kobe Lufkin due to injury, the Pioneers started off shaky as they went down 11 points at halftime, but that wouldn't stop Darius Hopkins and company. Hopkins came out hot as he rallied for 12 second half points, as well as an incredible one layup. Center Comedric Murphy had a great game on the defensive side of the ball, tallying three blocks. Pioneers gave up valiant effort, but unfortunately it wasn't enough to stop the Golden Flyers as they fell short 54-53. We are all so proud of the season these men had, and we look forward to seeing what they have in store going into next season. The Empire 8 Track and Field Championships were held this weekend in the Dome. Let's check how each of our teams did. The men's team found success in many different ways on the field. They were dominant in the shot put. Five of the top six throws were from Pioneers. Hunter Logan led the way with a 16.19 meter throw to win the first Empire 8 Championship. On the track, the 60 meter race gave us another champion. Dejon Richards was crowned E8 champion this indoor season after barely, barely missing out on first last year as a freshman. The women's track team had their Empire 8 championship this past weekend. The women did well in their event with four pioneers receiving conference champion honors. Makai Donnelly broke a school record for the women's high jump with a height of 1.6 meters. The pioneers ended the weekend coming into the third overall with a score of 81. Congrats on a great season, ladies. Utica University's women hockey suffered a tough loss to Manhattanville in a close game. The Pioneers fought hard but fell short in overtime with a score of 3-2, eliminating them from the conference tournament. Starting off with the early lead, the Pioneers scored the first two goals. Graduate student and captain Rebecca Brown scored the first goal of the game, followed by senior Georgiana Centulo, and in her season with a total of 29 goals, setting the single season record. The Pioneers wrap up their season with a record of 21-6, making this their best season yet. Congrats on a record-setting season. The men's hockey team faced off against the Manhattanville Valiants this past Saturday in the second round of the UCHC playoffs. Utica started off slower than usual with a scoreless first period. Center Eric Holland had got the Pioneers on the board in the second period with a goal assisted by star junior Dante Zapata. Goalie Sean Dixon was the anchor for the Pioneers with 16 saves and a shutout. The Pioneers came away with the win 4-0 as they continue their monumental season. This win advances them to the conference finals this upcoming Saturday. Last night, the men's lacrosse team held a vigil for Coach Parnell. Coach Parnell was a founding member of the UC lacrosse program as, as a player and coached the team for the past 14 years. On and off the field, he coached with tremendous energy and passion, which earned him high praise of generations for our student athletes. Athletics Director Dave Fontaine, interim head coach Justin Patterson, and current captain Jack O'Shaughnessy spoke during the vigil. The Utica University athletic community held candles to pay their respects. The men's lacrosse team begins their season this afternoon. Now let's head over to Ethan for an interview with a member from the men's lacrosse team. Hello and welcome back to the show. Thank you, Corinne. This week we are lucky to have uh, lacrosse midfielder, Captain Jack O'Shaughnessy. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you, it's my pleasure. 
Um, now tell us a few things about yourself. What do you do here? What are you studying? What year are you? You're obviously a senior, but where are you? do you live on campus, off campus? Of course. So uh, I'm actually a physics major at Utica College. Wow. Uh, Good I, for you. <laughs> <laughs> I graduated from, uh, from Utica, Notre Dame, right down the okay, road. Okay, right down the road. Local yep. then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, living off campus, but, uh, you know, just grinding out my last few classes and uh, right. playing lacrosse. Good, good. Now, I hear you have a little bit of a nickname, Shaggy. Does that come from, now I know I have long hair myself, but does that, long, that name come from your hair or something else? Uh, actually, it comes from my last name, O'Shaughnessy. I guess you got that a little uh, S-H-A-G in there. But, uh, that uh, makes sense. Yeah, my old coach was the one that, that coined it my first day at Utica. Oh, okay. <laughs> so last year the team went 5-1, and they were on, you guys were undefeated at home, which was definitely good. Certainly. Now, how are you going to carry that success into this year's? Because I know last year was also cut short, correct? Oh, yeah. So it's, how are you uh, going to carry that passion and drive into this year? Uh, obviously, some, some nice momentum to look back on last right. year uh, with a good record. But uh, at the same time, it's always a brand new season. You know, We, uh, we have new guys in new positions. Uh, so we look to build off of that success okay. of last year. Uh, but know that we still uh, got to come in working hard this year, just like it's a fresh start, regardless of how we were last year. Now, what drew you to play lacrosse here at uh, Utica? Uh, so I played, I played briefly in high school for a couple years. Oh, okay. um, enjoyed it, great competition. I played other sports as well. Uh, in coming to Utica, uh, I wasn't actually playing a sport. Okay. Um, but uh, needed something to fill my time, kind of structure right. my day. Yeah. Um, and since joining, it's been a huge part of my life here. So um, let, me, right, let me get this straight. You went from not playing in high school to becoming a captain on the team this year? Uh, or I, I played my junior and senior year in high school. Okay, so, so just you're still briefly, pretty fresh then. Uh, yeah, and then it's my fifth year here. Just been, uh, been working hard and enjoying every minute of it. So you started when you were junior in high school. I did. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Now, is there a particular game in either high school or college that is going to stick out to you that you're, you're never going to forget that game? It could be a playoff game or just a regular <sighs> maybe senior night. Man, uh, I'll always remember my first college point, certainly. Uh, okay. Uh, through an assist to my good friend, James Danielle. Right. Um, but, man, tons of good road trips that I remember, look back <laughs> on, so many fun home games. Uh, Especially, I think, back on the games with good crowds. So much fun to have At that home, energy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing like that. Oh, yeah. But uh, I'd say my first point, but first hoping, to, hoping to make a few more good game I've, memories I've this year. I'll cross my fingers for you. So being a lacrosse captain and a physics major, how do you balance that class load? Because I'm sure physics is pretty challenging. Um, so luckily, I find it enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> not that it's always easy, right. but it's, it's nice to study something that I uh, at least find interesting. Um, but besides that, lacrosse actually tends to keep me a little more on the straight path uh, okay. as opposed to having tons of free time for me to blow. A little more of a schedule base. I know when I got to practice, I know when I got to do my schoolwork. So it, it keeps me more in line than... Uh, keeps you humble. Exactly. Keeps you humble. <laughs> so what's your favorite part of lacrosse? Oh, man, uh, like I said... I, when I watch it, I'm like, wow, I don't know if I want to play this sport. <laughs> Uh, like I said previously, uh, I obviously really enjoy the competition, Right. Um, but I, I get tons of energy just from being around my teammates, competing together, having a great time doing that. Um, being a leader is definitely something I'm right. passionate about, but uh, getting, to, getting to lead and pursue that goal with my teammates is uh, really something that, that fires me yeah. up. <laughs> what do you think is the hardest part about lacrosse? Oh, man, there's... Uh, there's adversity all the time in lacrosse, right? Um, and we've obviously seen our fair share off the field lately, but on the field, right. it's like, it's play after play. Everyone's got to give it their all all the time, or uh, that other Keep team can get the upper hand. Oh yeah, thing. oh yeah. And and stuff can go bad quick, so you've got to have your head on straight enough. Very fast-paced game. Oh yeah. My watching it. Um, now, say if you take a you know a bit of a loss on the one day, and you oh, have yeah. a, you know, a lot of homework to do or a test. How do you put up that divide? Because that's got to be tough. Uh, well, <laughs> if one thing's got to suffer, it's got to be sleep, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got to get the schoolwork done. But, um, you know, it, uh, it always fuels a drive. Those, those ups and downs are a part of life. Um, can't get all the wins without having a few no, losses. No, you got to have away, a couple right? losses. And you learn from them. So it, it, all, it all helps in the development. Now, how's the team for age this year? Is it an older team, younger team? Um, 
I would say we, we tend towards the younger side. Okay. Uh, it's, it's kind of a, an interesting subject just because with having so many years cut short recently. Oh, correct. It, it almost extends that inexperience in youth to a couple more years than just our first year. Uh, because we have a lot of guys in our program that still haven't played a, a complete year of lacrosse with us yet. Just because they got cut short. Exactly, exactly. Now, do you have any what are your tips for them? <laughs> uh, man, for balancing, uh, obviously, school and sports. Certainly, certainly. Um, I think the, the best thing that I realized uh, since playing lacrosse here was uh, really just to come out every day with, uh, with all the energy I had and, and playing like it might be my last time out there on the field. Right. Um, again, like we've seen these last couple years, you never know when something can get cut short. You never know uh, what could be your last game, last practice. So I've really tried to come out every single day and make my mark uh, regardless of what Right on the game, no matter what. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, I do say this with a very heavy heart. Bless her soul, the late Mike Pr uh, Pernell, who is the founder of the program, who sadly passed away earlier in December. How did that affect the team, and how did a, something like that, a tragedy like that, help you bring uh, closer together? How were you? Uh, obviously, it, more of a family, I would say. Certainly, it uh, it affected us incredibly deeply. You know, uh, I've had him every year since I've been here, as, right. as have the other guys. So he, and and many guys in years past have had him. So he obviously had a deep impact on this community. He he was Utica right. Cross. Um, but his, his spirit lives through our program, certainly, uh, through the energy of the guys, through the game he loved, through the team he loved, uh, which is very cool. Uh, and then, obviously, tragedy, um, it, it does bring people together. Um, as, as sad as it is, you, you see our teammates, you know, hands around each other's shoulders, grabbing each other, bringing each other tight. Uh, and we, it almost gives us something to work for this year. Something, something to achieve, something to make this season good. Together. Certainly, certainly. <clears throat> now, yesterday evening, there was candlelight vigil held in Gantanio Plaza. What did that mean to you and the team that Utica did something like that and you guys were able to, you know, participate in something like that? Uh, we're just so thankful for all the support uh, from the school, from the community. Uh, like I said, Coach Parnell had, uh, had big impacts on not only Utica lacrosse, uh, but Utica as a whole. Uh, lots of people knew him. Uh, he right. I knew him. I have nothing certainly, to do with lacrosse. Certainly. Certainly. <laughs> Um, so, like I said, we're just we're so thankful for that support right. from the community, and it means so much to know how much effect he had on the people of Utica. I will say, just talking to people around the campus, we are such a tight knit group. You definitely have our support, 100. Thank you. Thank you. He was a true coach on and off the field with tremendous energy and passion. Thank you, Jack, for joining us today. Hopefully, you guys can get the um, your first dub. You're playing SUNY Poly right tomorrow. Oh yeah, 4:30. 4:30 home. Okay, so you guys there. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. Let's head into the previews for this coming week. The men's lacrosse team will be back in action this week. They open up their season Wednesday at home, at home sorry, against SUNY Poly. The team is coming off a 5-1 to one shortened 2021 season. With a full 16-game season this year, they will have plenty of opportunities to continue their success. The men's track team will travel to Nazareth College for the All-Atlantic Regional Track and Field Conference Championship this weekend. We all wish them the best of luck and hope some of our pioneers can come home with the gold during this two-day event. The women's track team have had an incredible season and look to make some noise in Indianapolis this weekend. The ladies will compete in, this All in the All-Atlantic Regional Track and Field Conference Championship as they look to move on to North Carolina for the NCAA Division III championships next weekend. Following the men's lacrosse game on Wednesday, the team goes head on with Madeline College Saturday, March 5th. The game starts at 1 p.m. in Gatile Stadium. Come cheer on the men's lacrosse team as they dive into the beginning of their season. After a 4-0 shutout win this past weekend over Manhattanville, the Pioneers men's hockey has solidified yet another trip to the UCHC Finals. This will be the Pioneers' sixth trip to the Finals in the last seven years. The Pioneers look to host the number two seed Wilkes University home for the championship game. In the last battle, the Pioneers won a tough game by a shootout. So remember to come support the Pioneers this Saturday, March 5th at 7 p.m. Tickets are available now. The men's lacrosse team will continue to have home games throughout the next week as their out-of-conference schedule heats up. Madeline College and Crosstown rival Hamilton College 
will make the trip to the Catano Stadium this Saturday and Tuesday, respectively. The games will be at 1 and 5 p.m. The community has done a great job supporting this team through tough times. Let's continue to show our support and give them a crowd. Yeah, that's all the Utica sports we have for you this week. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with everything going on in Utica athletics. Also, check out our Instagram for live sporting game updates, as well as our Moose Minute series. And as always, remember to fear, fear the, the moose. moose.